Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Leon today, along with... ASM First Mate Rakir, at your service, who has a burning question. And that is... What the heck? What kind of food do you make in Netherlands that's bluish purple? Uh, you mean the whatever is on the spit there or something? Uh, whatever it is that's right above me, you. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a fish. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just some kind of purple stew. <laughs> oh, and... good God, my brain. <laughs> Uh, anyways, welcome to our side quest stream of Cross of the Dutchman. Now, I remember that this game isn't too long, but we shouldn't be able to finish it in just one stream. And uh, yeah, this is <clears throat> this is uh, another request from Verkir of which game to stream. And yeah, I have the next one prepared as well. Um, <clears throat> One that is my pick, as of course. Actually, we should we could probably try that. Uh, that's uh, with the the side quest streams. That uh, I pick a game, then you pick a game, then I pick a game, and back and forth like that for a bit. I could be do I, I'm up for that. Do, didn't I say two games and then flip a coin? Mm, probably said something like that. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> now, this game is based on a legend slash myth uh, from the Netherlands, which is where I'm from, though it is more of the Frisia region. In Dutch, we would call that Friesland, which would translate somewhat roughly to Frozen Land. It is one of the northern, yeah, I think it is actually the northernmost region or province uh, <clears throat> in the Netherlands. Uh, let me see. I suck at geography, <laughs> even in my own place, which is only like 12 provinces. Uh, well, no. at least you're better than a YouTuber I saw the other day who was wondering why Brazil was in America. For well, apparently she had never heard the concept of continents. Actually, now I think about it, I think Groningen. Uh, is the northernmost province up on the right side. So where exactly would... Where is... Hmm. Wait, isn't that... Are they more west? Okay. I Actually, I think now that Friesland is supposed to be that entire region that we claimed from the sea. Uh, <laughs> then we turned that sea into a big fucking lake by just closing it in. Uh, but I'm not sure that I'm not sure of when that happened. If that was during the same time that this game is set in about the 1700s, is hmm. Uh, I suck as much at history as I do at geography. So uh, let's just stop talking about or start talking slash guessing about this and start a new game. The timer is going. And let's see. Okay, 16th century. Frisia is torn apart by strife and turmoil. Hmm. Okay, it's somewhat Netherlands shaped, but oh, maybe it's more of uh, how the old region was came, uh, called before the reclamation started. Several factions are trying to get a hold on the land and consolidate their power. Ordinary Frisian people like the Donia family just want to be left in peace. Also, there was a very suggestive tree and bush there. <laughs> I missed that. You can see two of them now, or <laughs> three of them on the lower. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, they so did that on fucking purpose. I actually. Doubt it. Anyways, here is our main character, Pierre. Phew, I'm glad I'm finished with that. I've put up quite, a, yeah, quite an appetite. I really hope Rince has prepared something good today. Oh no, I just realized something. Hmm? 
We almost have the same beard. I feel like I see that a lot. A uh, very common beard style, um, the Han. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, dearest. Have you finished preparing that field for the growing season? I've been breaking my back over it all morning. It, you know, it's all been taken care of. Well then, yeah, I've been busy as well. I'm afraid I haven't gotten around to preparing a meal yet. Anything I need to do? Anything I can do to help out? Yes, you can actually. We're all of the meeting. We're all. Uh, it seems I get tongue-tied a lot more often these days since the dental work started. <laughs> Uh, we're all out of meat and fish, so uh, you could head over to uh, the market. You could head to the market at the crossroads and trade some of our vegetables. You really have to. Can't you send one of the kids? I haven't seen those rascals all morning. Please just gather some vegetables around the farm and take it to the market. You can use the mini map to find your way around. Mini map? What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Don't take make this too complicated, dear. Just make sure you're back home before sundown. All right, I'll see what I can find. Oh dear! And as he said that, one of the kids ran past her. Again, we had that same happen during the uh, showcase that we did of this recently. Gerloff, uh. yes. uh, did you see uh, Wobble Dad? No, why are you looking for your sister? You're playing hide and seek. Seek and ye see, uh, ye shall find. I think she is hiding somewhere around here. Yeah, Don't you help over. him? Not much of a hiding space. Hi, Dad. Hi, little one. Having fun? I'm trying to get uh, to Gerloff, but he's too fast for me. Would you help me, Dad? Okay, so one oh, of them I'm... is playing hide and seek, and the other one is trying to play tag. Oh and no! And I still can't find her. I noticed something weird here. Hmm? It feels like the mother and father might have the same artist, but it was a completely different person who drew the kids. Maybe. But okay. they look weirdly different art style. Or it could have been drawn more cartoony to signify, well, more childish st nature and such. <clears throat> Here you go, a whole bunch of veg vegetables gathered from around the farm. Thanks, my love, but it looks like you forgot to bring the carrots. Go around the ditch to get to the field uh, to the east of the farm. Kidding me, right? Off you go. <laughs> Just waves him off. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> we mentioned this before in the showcase, but uh, the thing with Pierre here is that, well, he's a big fucker. <laughs> like, he was, uh, he was supposed to be like seven feet tall in an era where most people were five feet tall. Yeah, though, I think I heard learned that Swedes were very much as big as we are now, around 1.80 centimeters. Okay. It's a bit normal today, but back then? Yeah. Yeah, it was rather large. <laughs> there you are, you stupid carrots. About time. I'm really starting to feel like an errand boy here. And isn't that oh, what no. being a farmer is basically like? <laughs> yeah, I just remember something comical. This kind of involves the Dutch and Germans. No. When Romans start to conquer their lands, Dutch and Germans told them. Don't go across the sea here. The people here are over two meters tall. And savage as hell. You, give us all your money or we'll take your life. What the heck? What are you doing on my property? Shut up and hand over the money. Leave my farm right now or we'll make short work of the both of you. <laughs> we'll take that challenge any day. Oh, and yes, yeah, so we come into combat. A for punches. And just <laughs> beat the fishes. <laughs> These fools Ooh, thought they could come to my place and rob me. The nerve, he pities the fool. <laughs> and he, de oh. he don't need no gold chains. Erected in memory of Benedictus and Etacare Donia. Rest in peace. 
That's for the both of them, not a shared grave. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I was not telling story here. Uh, do we guess which countries it was the Dutch and Yoma were referring to? Yeah, <laughs> Scandinavia. Yeah, and guess what happened? They did. Oh. Yeah, go oh. ahead. Uh, I'll say, the result was the Romans believed them and did not dare to come to Scandinavia because of how much Dutch and German told them how f savage we were. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Dutch were telling those stories to, well, scare them off and keep them as trade partners. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Because there's not much trade going on between two uh, vassals of the same uh, yeah, empire. <clears throat> oh, <And> good gods. <laughs> you won't believe what just happened. I got ambushed by a bunch of crooks on our own land. Next, were you hurt? I'm fine. Not sure about those guys, especially the one we put in the channel. <laughs> to be honest. Things have become more dangerous ever since those Saxon soldiers have reached the village of Kingsward and Aaron. Now you've run into the strings on our very doorstep. What's next? You can tell. I'll make sure to keep a watchful eye out you know, from, from now on. But perhaps it's best if you take some of our savings with you to the crossroads. Just in case you need to pay it instead of travel. I guess it can't hurt, but I'd rather deal with it you know, in a different way. Yeah, Pierre is a bit of a simple man, a very punchy man. Also, we couldn't punch at all until that bit there. So yeah, just punch all this open, kick that open, and we've got our cash. Handing our savings over, uh, handing, the, uh, handing our savings to one of those Saxon bastards would be the last thing I'd do. Yeah, Pierre is a bit. Uh, Opinionated about them and headstrong, as we'll also get to see. Yep, say goodbye to Rince first. Well, I'm off to the crossroads now. I'll be back before you know it. Please don't get yourself in any kind of trouble. If you yet ever get lost, you can use the world map to find your way back home. Oh, I just realized something. In this time period, there were kind of two Sax Saxons. No. Uh, Saxony in Germany is probably who these are. And uh, of course, Anglo Saxons in England. Okay. I, I go suspect it is from, such as I saw on the map, probably the Saxons near Germany, since did, did, did England ever invade the Netherlands? Uh. Pretty sure they probably tried a few times. I know it. I know at least one case where uh, the, the Dutch invaded England, though not in the sort of way to just take over and such. Uh, but they they managed to sail up uh, one of the rivers and just sack a harbor. And I'm pretty sure that was the uh, that's supposed to be the only time in uh, English history where they were beaten on their own home turf like that. <laughs> okay. And wait. I think England had been beaten before several times. Don't forget the, the Romans and Vikings. Yeah, but uh, in a naval way like that. <laughs> I'll have oh. to look it up again. That is interesting. <laughs> Afternoon, big guy. Hello, good man. I would like to trade my vegetables for some of your fine fish. Now yeah, you've come to the right place. My fish is the precious you can get. But I'm afraid I won't be able to trade with you today. Coins only. Are you saying something is wrong with my vegetables? I've been growing these on my own land, you know. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry your vegetables look fine. It's just that I need to pay a lot more taxes now that those Saxon soldiers have come to, our, to the village. That's why I can only sell my fish for coins. These guys are everywhere. They're not even getting between me and my meal. Okay, big guy. Those soldiers have taken a good portion of my catch today because I was not able to pay them. I'll trade with you if you can get my fish back. Sounds like I'll be doing all the work. 
But those hoodlums are, you know, are getting on my nerves. I'll return your fish. Thank you. Just be careful. They are well armed. Well, I would say Pierre is better well or awful love of. I now blame you, Helion, for this. Yes, yeah. it was a pun. I blame you. Yeah, he's wielding guns akimbo. <laughs> Wait, what? As in he has two. Wait, I thought that he was only involved in two pistols. Uh, no, basically wielding uh, guns akimbo means just dual wielding them. Akimbo is basically, yeah, dual wield, a different word for it. Okay, I learned something new. There might, there's probably differences, but oh well. Hold it right there, peasant. Let me pass. I have no business with you. Oh, but I'm afraid you do. So everybody has to pay a toll in order to get the arrow. No matter how big and stupid they are. What did you just call me? Are you deaf, peasant? Did you pay the toll or we won't let you pass? What kind of scum would extort people out of their hard-earned money? Someone ought to teach you a lesson. Someone ought to teach you a lesson. You fool, you're picking a fight you can't win. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, as is likely uh, more than obvious by now, this game is a, a bit simple but still fun top-down brawler. Nope, and he's just... Nope, not going for a lean. Looks like I knocked these guys out cold. Better start looking for those fish, and then head, bleh, and then head straight to the fishmonger. Well, at least they came out better than the ones <laughs> doing, we knocked out during the showcase. Though we still end up the same way. Hold it! Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, um, you see? Enough. We saw what you did. I was rendering get the hell out of our camp. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, Pierre is a bit low on his uh, deception rolls. Yeah. I guess these guys can be messed with. I need to come up with something better if I want to get my hands on those fish. And, uh, I yeah. Again, I think I said it before. I I will critique the armor on those guys a bit, like, the chest plate is a bit too low and the hip plates are not supposed to be on the side, they're supposed to be on the front of your thighs, basically. But they do nothing on the sides like that. Yeah. Hello again, big guy. Were you able to retrieve my fish? I'm afraid not. I was able to fight off a couple of soldiers, but the backup arrived before I knew it. It threw me out of the camp. And it's quite troublesome. You should easily be able to take on even a large group of those Saxons. Perhaps you should go and find Swarta Geert. He is the blacksmith from Aram. I'm sure he has something that will uh, help out. Will help you out. Geert, huh? Never heard of him, but I don't think I'll be able to reach him anyway. Those soldiers have blocked the entire road, and there's no way I'm paying them a toll after what just happened. That's what I figured. No worries. Geert often travels to Kimsworth to help uh, to help shoe horses on the farms. I've seen him come by this just this morning. You should be able to catch up with him quickly. Well, why not? Where did you say I could find this guy? Just head east to Kimsworth. Once you get there, you will have to ask around. I'm sure people will have seen him come by. And with that, we need to head off because we can kick ass, but we can't kick t that much ass at the moment. Oh, I look forward to when he gets his <laughs> seven feet tall sword. Yeah, the uh, titular cross. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the road to Kimsworth. I have to find that blacksmith. And yeah. I still misheard you there. Should I even ask? <laughs> uh, it's not lewd. I just, for, for my, I just thought you said roasted king's worth. Uh, A complete different sentence. Hmm. Tall guy, fierce beard, piercing eyes. You must be Pierre Donia. That's you are. And who might you be? You don't look like a farmer at all. Well spotted. My name is Seabrand. 
I became a hunter after deserting the military. The pay was great, but I could not stand the horrendous things they made me do. Are you sure you severed all ties with those bastards? I swear I'll find you if you rat me out to those villains. Don't worry. I'm more known to them than you are. Just call me if you ever need someone to aid you against the Saxons. Thanks, but I really don't want to get into more trouble than I already am. I understand. Just know that you can call on me if you need my help. Okay, bit random, but oh well. Alright, so basically a Saxon who got tired how the other Saxons behaved. Good day, fellow. What brings you here? You must be Geertz. Uh, maybe, <clears throat> maybe you can help me? I was thrown out of a soldier's camp and I need to teach those morons a lesson. I figured you're the kind of guy who can get himself into trouble easily. Calling me a troublemaker? Easy, fellow. I'm just saying that you really stand out of the crowds. I'm sure those soldiers love to pick on you. I guess you're not that far from the truth. But I have matters to settle. Are you going to help me or not? If we were back at my shop, I would have uh, I would have you know, just sold you a sword. But since I'm on the road, all I can give you right now is some advice. Well, aren't you the, dis you know, <laughs> the disappointing blacksmith? All right, I'll take your advice for what it's worth. Actually, my advice is worth about 100 pieces of gold. Are you kidding me? This would better be gold play the advice then. <laughs> Would you expect anything else from a master blacksmith like me? You want to learn how to beat those so uh, Do you want to you know to learn how to beat those soldiers or not? I guess there's no other way. Just the money. It better be worth it. Thanks. Now listen carefully. What you need to do is learn to control that anger of yours. Build it up. And let it all out yet in one furious blow. He's even doing the motion. <laughs> Want me, to, want me to take a breather during a fight? Sounds pretty dumb now, doesn't it? Why don't you give it a try? Keep calm until your stamina bar has filled up, then release a mighty blow. Stamina bar? I sound just as crazy as my wife. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. We can try punching those barrels over there. Just so you know, using regular punches won't work. And yeah. What he's talking about is that green bar, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, our special attack we unleashed with the B button. <laughs> Just a big old uppercut. Oh dear god. And also, let's take a look at the blacksmith. Do you see something weird? Like the fact that he's as tall, and maybe not taller than Pier. No, look at the arms and look at the legs. Uh, yeah, a bit stubby down below. Yeah, also, fun fact, blacksmith were very broad-shouldered. This actually became genetic. So, yeah, it, it, it passed on. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. I can you know, tell that there is a lot of strength hidden inside those fists of yours. That was awesome. Thanks for the advice. I'll be able to put this to good use. Make your way back to the crossroads and give them hell. Oh, and just so you know, if you ever learn a new move, you can always switch back to those moves you already know. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is a brawler, of course, so if, yeah, of course there's going to be uh, <laughs> special moves and all that. Uh, yeah, this one is going to be pretty strong. Holy. As oh, yeah, I should probably every say this. Should be. The reason Blasphemous were broad shouldered was due to. How much they use the arms when forging? Yeah. And it usually the son or daughter became this mate afterwards, and it went on and on, and yeah, it became a genetic trait. I'm not sure if it really can be called genetic if it's caused by the work and such, because to be genetic, to be a genetic thing, it would actually need to change their DNA and such. Oh. Which, uh, yeah. I think that it will tell you how long the generations lo uh, went on. Yeah. More inherited than uh, from work than <clears throat> from genes. Beat it, peasant. You've done enough damage. I need to find a way you know, to beat these guys. Okay. 
Oh, return to the fishmonger first. Okay. Uh, the minimap is a little bit tiny up there. You've come back. Have you found Swarte Gerts? Uh, you better have. You'd better get ready to trade those fish uh, with me. I'm putting an end to this right now. Not really I, I'm needed, gonna raise anyway. your volume on my end. I know that I more flayed being accidentally speaking over you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Test one, two, three. Looks like the volume on the bars is. Oh. Okay, I turned my mic a little bit and I ended up tipping something over. There we go. Test one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Let me actually up my own volume a little bit. I think on the most on the recent uh, that's probably made everything wide out for you. Uh, there we go, two decibels extra. That should be a lot better now, I think. Yeah, uh, a bit I'll, now. I'll, I'll have to check the recording after to see how the audio balancing is. I hope it isn't too off. No, no, sounds fine for me. I just noticed earlier when I was talking about Smith, I actually spoofed over you. All right. You again? Those soldiers have knocked out are in a bad way. We won't go easy on you this time, you filthy, you filthy peasant. Come and get it. And with that... <laughs> like fucking Asterix, we sent them skywards. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the Frisian space program. <laughs> Incredible. I've never felt so strong in all my life. And I guess that old blacksmith's advice was worth more than I thought. Now let's find those fish and get out of here. I really don't need any more trouble. And he doesn't need to have it be made double. Okay. Here's your fish, so we can be done with this fishy business. You're back already? How on earth did you manage that? I took care of those creeps. They start wearing some armor and think they can push people around. Really grateful for your help. Please, keep the fish as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. My wife will be happy to see that I've made a good deal. I can only advise you to keep your head down, big guy. The soldiers will be back in far greater numbers, I'm afraid. Let them come. I'm going to stall this real fast. And I also just adjusted my volume on my, my headphones as well, and now I hear you much better. Okay. I guess I some time ago accidentally turned it to something. Because Maybe. I, I, I could have accidentally turned it down when I with some sort of music. I forgot to turn it back on. Uh. Windows does have a bit of a habit of randomly changing things, even when you don't want them changed. Oh no, not Windows. Not Windows. I think you're talking about turning the switch on the headphones itself. Okay. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Home sweet home. Hello, love. I was able to get us some nice fresh fish for free. Are you sure those fish haven't gone bad? What trader would just give his products away without asking something in return? <clears throat> Pardon? Well, a bunch of soldiers were messing with the fishmonger. I helped them out and got the fish at no charge. Are you out of your mind, Pierre? What do you think will happen now? Next thing you notice, soldiers will be coming to our house. We can't put our family in danger like this. Don't you worry about that. I'll be here to protect you. Here, Rins and their children are enjoying a hard-earned meal of vegetables and fish. Their evening is suddenly disturbed by a loud knock on the door. When Pierre goes to check out the commotion, he finds John the farmer on the doorstep. His face pale as a sheet and it, it, it is completely something. That went by quick. Out of his breath. Right. Pierre, there you are. You must help me right away. 
Calm down, man. What's wrong? There's bastards of radio or farm. The entire crossroads is swarming with them. You need to help me right now. These guys don't know when to quit, do they? Don't you worry, I'll help you out. Please. <laughs> Chapter 3, Retaliation. And, oh yeah, we, we can catching up a bit here now. Uh, this is about where we had to end the showcase. At around the same as time. But uh, yeah, this is a bit of the trouble that people have when dealing with occupiers. Because they typically don't like it when they're messed with. They blocked the way. We need to deal with these uh, soldiers quickly. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Remove your men from that farm, Miss instance. <laughs> and what if we don't? Ah, enough. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, what's in between barrels? Holy. And now he's just T posing. Incredible. I've never seen such strength. There are more soldiers up ahead. Get ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that down this way? I don't think there's actually a full map that we can open. Oh. I stand corrected. Okay. <laughs> this way. Yeah, there is there is some things about this game that are originally completely missed when I played this well, for myself a long time back. There we go. Best to have them group up and yeah. Like the, there is an upgrade system apparently that I was completely unaware of when it, well I first played this. It, okay, missed one of them. Nope, that one's in the drink. And uh, okay, he went over the fire, not in it. Oh no, backup is coming from the west. I don't know if we can take on more of these soldiers. If I can. We won't give up that easily. Prepare yourself. Yeah, I think you missed some coins down there. Yep. Some big shiny gold. Oh, no, that is a bunch of them. That was a bunch of them. <laughs> One last. There we go. My, my, my wife. They've taken my wife. Let's get her back before it's too late. Where have they come from? It was dark. I did not hear them until it was already too late. I think they came from the road to Aaron. Follow me. This fight is not over yet. <laughs> We're already leaving a body cart. Yeah, a, bo yeah, a body count that's in about two dozen or more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder, is that hunt hunter around? Yep. Door kick. Double fist, spin punch, stab, swing, and spin. Let's see. Let, let's save up for the big one. Uh, if I can select down. Just use the mouse then. What the heck are you two peasants doing here? Men to arms. Yep, and to infinity and beyond. Because that's where you're going after getting punched like this. Yeah, I did not expect to see them so f flying towards uh, us from the screen. Okay, we do have to be careful with our health. Luckily, it regenerates outside of combat. Oh, wait, wait, barrels. Please, don't kill me. I'll tell you where they have taken the farmer's wife. Speak, cowards. But lie to me and I swear it will be the end of you. We have taken her to the farm just across the bridge. I'll signal the guards that the coast is clear. It will lower the bridge and you'll be able to cross. Riding out in your own men. <laughs> I'll let you go. Better stay away from those soldiers from now on. They will have your head for what you did. Are you kidding? Oh no, what have I done? Uh, 
uh, now grab the barrel. They, you do remember they may have coin. Yeah. Go. Only a few, but still. We need to be careful. If we get caught by those guards, they will kill my wife for sure. I'll take care of this. You stay here. And we still have bridges similar to this design to, to this day, actually. Oh? Yeah. Not exactly like this, but the principle is about the same. A, a one weighted half that is used to lower or raise the other half. Alright. Kind of clever. Now, where is this guy going? To the middle and back, or is he going yeah, middle and back? Okay. And I slip in between, and there we go. Basic stealth, but decent stealth. Let's not get too close. I think the frogs were taunting you. Don't ask me how a seven foot guy is being stealthy like this, but oh well. Oh, you'd be surprised. Who are you? Stay away from me. Shh, quiet. I'll get you out of here. Your husband is waiting for you. My savior. Thank you. Shh, I told you to be quiet. You'll alert the guards. Don't you shush me. Let's get me home safely this instant. Ah, oh, heck, they've heard of... Alright, I'll take care of this. Uh oh, she's one of those. Yeah, bit typical housewife. Oh, that, that is a lot of them. Bye bye, oh, that is a whole lot of them. <laughs> okay, definitely need to resort to this. Oh. So, so much for stealth. Okay, even now we are regenerating health, luckily enough. And she's actually just following us still. There we go. You've saved me again. No thanks to you. You should have kept your voice down. So now it's my fault all of a sudden? You simply don't know how to treat a lady. Some lady. What was that? Nothing. Just follow me and keep quiet in case we run into, the, into more soldiers. Right, have you, have you forgot something up there? No. Oh. Something in the grass that is glowing. Uh, up, 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 up. There we go. Yeah, yeah there's something there. Uh, it's a lantern. Oh, we slept. Okay, that makes sense. It, it, it looked so odd of what. Is that gold? No, just a lantern. Mm. Ah. I'm not sure if we could have seen the numbers a bit by just getting up behind the lantern soldiers and just knocking <laughs> them into the stratosphere. Uh, but I didn't want to risk it. I don't exactly remember if the checkpoints in this game are good or not. Oh. That can be a problem. Thank heavens, you've saved her. Don't mention it. I never expected those soldiers to come in such great numbers. I'm afraid we're not the only ones who were attacked. The mill on the road to Kimswood has been taken as well. We need to go over there immediately. I hope this isn't a retaliation of what happened earlier today. Quickly, if they burn down the mill, the entire land will be flooded. Yeah, those uh, windmills that uh, the Netherlands are so famous for? Uh, yeah, they were used for water control back in the day. Not so much nowadays, but uh, yeah, they're kind of essential. Yeah, I think it was more than just water control. Well, yeah, also milling, things. of course. Oh yeah. Looks like they have completely blocked this road. Quick, we must find another way. Perhaps the miller can help us out here. Okay. following the target to have an idea of where to go. Let's, okay, he's on the other side. 
gear just moved on. I feel like you missed a lot of barrels and chests. Now they only contain a few coins each. Uh, hello. There you are. How do we get to the mill? I'm afraid you'll have to go through one of the roadblocks. Those soldiers kicked us out of uh, kicked us out as well. There must be a weakness somewhere. Perhaps you'll have more luck with the roadblock just east of here. There were fewer guards there. You might be able to get through. It's worth a shot. Okay, so just no sneaking, just four things for us were our way through. And okay, it's only three. The miller was right. I think we get. I think we can get past by going through you know, those crates on the right. Yeah, you lot really didn't think to clean that up, and that was a complete whiff. Okay, two for one deal. And the third is half off. Holy. How the hell did you get past our roadblocks? Never mind, we have you outnumbered. But not out the guns. I took out all of your men at the crossroads. You really think I can't handle a couple more of you morons? One shot. Holy. The Saxon soldiers occupied the mill in great numbers. It only made Pierre angrier. He felt the adrenaline rushing through his veins. This was going to be his toughest fight yet. But you do know what they say about what in the tough get go. No, the, the going gets tough. Uh, you get tough. The Saxons go t go flying. No. <laughs> okay, we need to get these dumbasses lined up. And yeah, now we have to deal with Arthur as well. Wait. Are those, those longbows? Yeah, they're probably a bit exaggerated to make them more visible. Yeah, for I'm pretty sure longbows were a British only thing for a while. Yeah, this will be made if if it is supposed to be a longbow, then it would make them Anglo Saxons. Okay, this guy has more sense armor and more health. Earlier the map showed where they came from and it will not be correct way. Go. Uh, yeah, I think they are from Saxony. Is I think bordered uh, or still borders Netherlands today. I think it's still a province in Germany. Yeah, likely. A lot of old names are still used in some parts. Uh, yeah, he is tough enough to even survive the uppercut. Some goon in the grass. Still more. Another fancy armor. Ooh, a lot of health on you. You're probably a He's captain. The boss. boss, the boss. Oh dear. You did it! The mill has been saved. Just let me catch my breath for a minute. Do you realize you've saved hundreds of people? Entire villages would have been lost if they had burned down the mill. It's okay. I just want to go home if you don't mind. You know, go back home if you don't mind. Oh no. Yeah. I think I know what's about to happen. He, he was away and... Uh... See if I'm correct. Now, this is still their farm first. 
There you are again, my hero. Thank you so much for saving us. You should thank your husband. He was able to get away and call for help before things got really bad. Oh, don't you worry. I will take special care of him. You can count on that. Oh, spare me the details. And uh, the next morning, John is probably going to wish that he never got his wife saved. Oh, dear gods. But yeah, I, I have a feeling something bad has happened to his own farm. Barrel! Box! I, I, I know this guy looks a bit like Donkey Kong if he were shaved, but he, he's not going to be throwing them around. I was doing a PewDiePie meme, but all right. All right, he threw barrels. I forgot that. <laughs> what a night. I need to get some rest. Okay. Yep. Oop, deliberation of Kimsworth. What does it appear? The Saxons last night. They were. The Saxons should just leave us alone. Yeah, they should. But I don't think they're just going to let this go. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you sent like a few dozen of them into the river. Here, we need your help. The Saxons have taken Kimsworth. I fear they will drive me out. Of the, you know, they, I fear they will drive me out of the church, or even worse, they might destroy it. Peter, I've already put my life on the line once. Do you really think I can keep this up, up on my own? You don't have to, Peter. There are plenty of others who are having trouble with the Saxons and are willing to put up a fight. Like who? Will, John, and Seaver and Brandt. Are capable people. If you can convince them to join the resistance, we'll stand in the chance of chasing those Saxons out of Kimsworth. Mm, I'm not sure about all of this. I, I think you should go, Pierre. It sounds like the people of Kimsworth desperately need your help. Find those three men and talk to them. Then come and meet me at the church. I will supply you with the arms you need to take on the Saxons. If you say so, let's go. Also, I have to say, did, did we miss a cutscene or something? No, how do you mean? Well, we went to the house, and it felt like... Like, it was going weird jump cut. Like, there was something supposed to be between you entering a house and starting a new chapter. Uh, I guess he just went to sleep and woke up again. So, nothing much to show. Like, this game isn't amazing or anything. It has some flaws, from what I recall. Uh, but it isn't too bad. Uh, oh, Wilk is back there. But discovering that this game actually does have a map and some upgrades, uh, yeah, that is going to make help make things easier. <laughs> Arrows! Yep. <laughs> Traitonator, what? Oh, good gods. Wilk, you've always been a good neighbor. Stop it. I know what you're going to ask of me. What do you mean? Don't play me for a fool. I've heard about what went on last night. I think even the people in Aram were able to hear it. So you know that I'm here. what I'm here for then? Yes, I don't like it one bit. But it seems, uh, <clears throat> but it seems this is the last chance we'll get to stand up to those Saxons. If we wait any longer, we'll surely be overrun. So I can count on your support. Yes, you go on ahead. I'll find others who can join us, and I'll meet you at the bridge to Kimsworth. Thank you, my friend. That's one down, two to go. John will probably re require no advice. <clears throat> No convincing at all, since, well, we kind of saved his farm and life, and wife. Yeah, and Seibrandt, Cy uh, pronounced it in Scandinavian, seemed to have a lot of grudge against them. There, you're, you're just going to follow? Okay. 
Here, you're back. I can't thank you enough for helping me. Don't get too excited. I'm not here for a friendly chat. Now it's my turn to call upon you to join me against the Saxons. No request is too big after what you've done for me. Uh, but do you honestly think we'll stand a chance? We've been amazed last night, and I'm sure the numbers will only increase if we keep messing them with them. And that is exactly why we need to act. Kim's word is being overrun as we speak, and if we wait any longer, we won't be able to help them at all. <clears throat> okay. One more. Yeah. Kind of wonder. He was a Saxon soldier, but he uh, left them due to, as he said, uh, he did, they did so many things that he could longer stomach being a soldier with them. Now he said the army. He didn't actually say which army, though. Could be Saxon. Could be the other side. I know an old soldier who lives close by on the road to Kinsworth. I heard he's not uh, fond of the uh, uh, Saxons either. Perhaps we can convince him to join us? Do you mean Seabrand? I ran into him a while ago. It would be good to have the aid of someone who is skilled with ranged weapons. Okay, a bowman. And uh, He did say he was a, hunt a hunter. Oh, well, there, old man. You can't just cross like over like this. You can't just cross over like that. Don't you have something better to do? I'm really in a hurry. Now, who am I to stand in the way of someone who is really in a hurry? If you pay me the toll fee, I'll be out of your way in a minute. Toll fee? What on earth are you talking about? Let me tell you something. The last guys who pulled a trick on me like that are still trying to recover. Now get out of my way or I'll go right through you. Have it your way then, old man. The brigand stood in Pierre's way. It was all too clear that he would not you know, just let him go, not just let him pass. A very big fan of Gandalf, that one. Hand over your coins, old man. I would hate to break those brittle bones of yours. You'd better watch your tone, stranger. Rest assured it'll all be the one left standing. Hmm. Boss fight? Maybe? It's a bridge fight for sure. Yep, yeah, and I completely miss again. Yep, and again. Back off and heal a bit. And then it became <laughs> the equity sacks chasing. Not sure if that one landed or not. There we go. <laughs> that one did. <laughs> As Pierre and the Brigand exchanged punches, the two seemed equally matched. But it was Pierre who had the upper hand, and by a mighty blow, the Brigand lost his balance and fell off the bridge. Look what you've done, you old fart. The Brigand shouted, Pierre began to recognize a familiar face. Weird? Could it be really you? Pierre asked. My word, Uncle Pierre? It's been so long, I barely recognized you. I did recognize your fist, though. <laughs> okay, explain why both were so damn tall. Weird? You fool, I honestly didn't recognize you. You were just a young lad when I last saw you. Yeah, well. The years haven't been kindly you know, very <laughs> the years haven't been very kind to you either, it seems. What kind of a thing is that to say to someone you haven't seen in such a long time? You're right. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm afraid there's no time for that right now. How come? What could be more urgent than talking to the long lost family? I'm on my way to Kinsworth. Saxon soldiers have taken the village, gathering people who will help me drive them out. Sounds like something I could be useful at. How about I come along with you? You're more than welcome to join me. We'll need all the help we can get. Um... There you go, now I can move. Oh, <laughs> uh, assuming you block our forefathers. 
Severance, that's you, right? Right you are. Hey, there was quite the thing you pulled off not last night. Ah, so you've heard. How could I not have not have? We really uh, <coughs> we really taught them a lesson, didn't we? What do you mean? I didn't see you anywhere last night. Are you the type of guy who takes credit for something they didn't not, they didn't do? Not very observant, are you? I was able to pick out plenty of soldiers with my bow when you were being loud as a boar. Next time, don't be so reckless. Hmm. You have my thanks, but I'd rather actually see you fighting on my side from now on. There's no need to thank me. You put a great part of my skills to good use. Much better than a small hunting small game, that's for sure. How about using those skills more often? I'd be happy to. What do you have in mind? I'm forming our group to drive the Saxons out of Kimsward. The village is overrun, and we need to act before we are able to set up a permanent establishment. I'm in. You lead. And with that, we have four. Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. I'm not too knowledgeable about the legend myself, but that bridge fight gave me a quite a bit Robin Hood uh, and Little John vibe. <laughs> Would you look at this bunch of uh, misfits? Two old farmers and a hunter or small game? Listen, either you help us out or you can leave. Your decision. Oh, lighten up, old man. All I'm saying is that you are not equipped to start any kind of fight. Are you going to scare away the Saxons with a rake and a shovel? You've got a point there. Let's head over to Peter to see what gear he was able to find. Yeah, as strong as he might be, the others are very vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, even he could use our armor weapons. The village of Tim's weird. And straight up here. Good, you made it. I was able to find three sets of armor, uh, but I see you've uh, brought a fourth companion. Pleased to meet you, sir. My, <coughs> my name is Weird Jelka. And I'm, <coughs> and I'm the guy who will actually make a difference when we take on the Saxons. Well, no lack of confidence there. I gather you won't be needing my assistance. I'll get the others outfitted if you don't mind. Good idea, Peter. In the meantime, Weird and I will scout the area and see if we can find some things that will be useful for us. You should visit the shopkeeper in the village. He has some interesting wares. We'll be ready soon. Make sure to come back after you're done scouting the area. Well, what use would a scout be if they didn't come back? True. Uh, I can't kind of think of it. Over the years, I've rarely seen scouting games worth investing in such, but over the years, I'm watching YouTube and such, I realized scouts are more than just someone who serves on the floor. They do a lot. And they are usually the ones first out into dangerous terrain to report back about it. Yeah, that, that is their whole business of uh, scouting. Let's see, 20% extra health. Okay. Now, I suddenly feel a lot stronger. Oh dear. But yeah, I over the years I grow more and more respectful of scouts. And, yeah, they need the entire special training for it after, after all. Yep. Plus, in gaming, in strategy games, scouts are really important since they will actually tell you or reveal to you where the enemy is, where resources are, and uh, yeah, where to best intercept things. Yeah. You returned just in time. Matching outfits, who would have thought? Most importantly, you have something to swing against those Saxons. You stand a much better chance now. We'll need all, uh, you'll need all the luck you can uh, get. Listen, the Saxons have positioned small groups of soldiers throughout the village. You need to take them out one by one, but be careful not to raise the alarm. Understood. Let's go. Oh, and we have a time limit on this. 
What? What? Oh no! There we go. Let's take out this punch. That wrong button. Oh, they start hanging people. Yeah. Okay. Or I'm not sure if our companions can get killed or anything. Oh, they, they took on this batch. I saw a scene as Shiri on the dead or told it. We just do the local criminals that got hanged or what? Uh, two occupiers, uh, yeah, who isn't a criminal in their eyes. Plus, tracking down on quote-unquote crime is a, a typical excuse for getting rid of the centers and people who just don't agree with uh, management, so to speak. Okay, one more. Phew, looks like that's all of them. Yes, I think we've managed without raising the alarm. Look, Pierre, another shopkeep. Let's see if he has something useful. Greetings, my good man. What do you have on offer today? Sorry, I'm really busy right now. Please come back later. Uh oh, looks like we didn't take out all, all of them. Get ready. We're in for a real, a really big fight. Okay, another the oh, that is a <laughs> it's a lot. And that was a lot. Holy Yeah, this special attack is really powerful if we can just get up close to a bunch of them. But therein lies also the danger. Yeah, and it's not it's obviously not easy. It is, there doesn't really seem to be a way to dodge or block or anything. That was close. I think some of them were able to get away, though. We need, we need to make sure we've taken out all of the soldiers. Let's go back to the church and check on Peter. Okay. Finally willing to talk. Mm. Okay, it's the same as before. Okay. I'm... I'm going to save up for that spin punch, see what that does. Ooh, coin, 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 coin! Near the barrel. There. There we go. Must have been furrow. That's the health guy. Ah, there you are. Good job, Pierre. I'm sorry I haven't been able to find a weapon for you. Perhaps it is best that you talk to Geert and Aaron. I'm sure he'll have something that is suitable to you, for you. We'll head over to Aaron right now, uh, right away. But how can we be sure that Kingsward stays safe? We'll stay here and make sure to scare off any Saxons who might be wandering the area. As easy to view to say, Sigrunt. Wilk and I both have farms to look after. We can't just stay here. Having second thoughts, John? You knew what you were getting into, and there's no turning back now. Pierre and I will head over to Aram. The three of you need to, uh, to stay here and guard Kingsward. Weird's right, I'm afraid. Peter, see, uh, see if you can rally more people in Kingsward to fight for our cause. We'll come back as soon as possible. Good luck. And just like that, uh, you're a resistance hero. Oh dear. Uh I the wonder, I think you might be onto something what you said earlier. No? This could be something... I'm not saying he's the Dutch version of Rod Hood, but he's a folk legend, so to say. Yeah. There are, there are a lot of legends that follow similar beats and have similar events and such. Yep, he is less of a robbing the rich, more of a 
fighting back. Yeah, more sending Saxons into the stratosphere. <laughs> We're so many up there, they rename it the Saxosphere. <laughs> you know what's bugging me? You have a family, right? How can you just leave them behind while you were out fighting Saxons? What else was I was what else was I supposed to do? Just stay at home and wait until they murder us in our sleep? Of course not. No way back now. The only thing we can do is strike hard and hope they will leave us alone. Oh dear. Yeah that <clears throat> Again, that is a thing with resistances. Either you... Yeah. Uh, Either you fight back, or you die a slow death. What? Uh, if you... It's levitating. Uh, what is levitating? The man over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think his shadow just isn't fully connected. But I... That's usually a sign that they are levitating. Okay, different entrance to this area. I don't actually know that right. here. What have you been up to all these years, weird? Uh, last time I saw you, you were about to join the army. My superiors and I didn't really see eye to eye, so I deserted after a while. Things have been difficult since. I had to steal and rob in order to stay alive. Looks like you're doing quite well. Are you sure you were just stealing to survive? Well, um, we need to keep moving. It will be dark soon. Okay. <laughs> One of these. Has he been busy with fighting pits? Uh, he's just been a brigand on the roads. Successful one at that. Yep. No, he's ask. He seemed to be shifting. Ask. Is that only thing he'd be doing? Only robbing. And he did not want to answer that. Coin. So he he admits he has been robbing, but there's something else he did not want to admit to. We'll see if we'll learn more about that or not. Now, let's get this and see what happens. Spin punch makes me think like it's going to be a, well, a spin attack. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's just basically, <laughs> it's basically a circular uppercut. Looks like others are standing up against the Saxons as well. The road to arm is clear. I may have had a thing or two to do with that, but I do hope we'll be able to find others to join the resistance. We need all the help we can get. I don't know, coin? Listen, sad. Hello, boys. Halt, we've got orders not to let anyone pass. Is it just two of you guarding this gate? Yeah, so what? There's no way you're getting through. Let's see about let's just see about that. <laughs> okay, we are just <laughs> also, do let me know if you want me to help you voice out, but I uh, uh... I've been having quite good quality of pictures of late. Alright, you can voice any uh, you want. Uh, for now, I think we should let uh, the fist do the work talking. You want to do weird or others? I think I can do the others, but I have no idea what voice it took him. him. <laughs> We're getting close to Aram. Let's keep moving. Oop, coin. We got 30 coins, okay. And just two there. 
Okay. Na 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 na. Can we just go around them? Oh, mobile rules. See? Go. <laughs> Ricky are getting PTSD flashbacks. More for the over by the coast. Yep. Would you just look at that view? That's something worth fighting for, isn't it? Since when have you become such a patriot? Let's be clear about this. I'm doing this to protect my family. That's all that matters to me. Hmm. Now, I'll definitely have to check what uh, or where Grisia uh, was in the Netherlands. And we're at Aram. Ah, we've made it. Now let's go let's go find that geared fellow. You know what he looks like, right? Believe me, you'll know when you see him. Go. Hmm. I'm not sure if uh, there's a different meaning to Zwarte. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's more a nickname than an actual name. And there he is. Here, it's good to see you again. I heard you were making quite the ruckus at the mill. Let's just say I'm glad I'm still in one piece. You've driven the Saxons out of Kimsworth as well. My my, you were in a lot of trouble, my friend. That exactly what, that's exactly why we really came to talk to you. We need a decent set of arms to help us take, uh, <coughs> to help us take out more of these goons when we run into them. And I'll be happy to provide. But I'm in desperate need of supplies. The Saxons are preventing any transport from reaching Aram. I won't be able to do anything, I'm afraid. Remember the encampment we passed on the way over here? I think we could, uh, they could be holding up the supplies over there. The companion is right. We need to wait until nightfall and strike when they are about to confiscate the new supplies that are coming in. We'll see what we can do. For now, it's just the two of us. An encampment looks like it was overflowing with Saxons. It might not be wise to go straight in. We need to head south on the road to Aram while there is still daylight. There you can talk to Ab Avin. <clears throat> a farmer who is keeping track of the Saxon movements in the area. Is Avon fellow know knows we're coming? No, but just mention my name and I'm sure you can wait at his place until nightfall. You should stand a much better chance that way. Let's go find this Avon guy. The day, the day grows short. Damn it. I, I was as serious as I could do this myth, but... <laughs> okay, we can, next time. Yeah, I, I want to be... Yeah, when I don't have pixelation happen, it seems to be rather not in the afternoon, since I'm only one at home then. Then, yeah, then I should be able to do some voice acting. All right. <clears throat> Need to shuffle in place a bit to get a bit more comfortable. In I really should. What? I've been saying this over and over again, but I really need to just go look for a better chair at some point. Oh, th th that's what you meant. I definitely re recommend a recliner instead of a computer chair. Sure, they may be way bigger than a computer chair, but bloody heck, they are way more comfier. Especially if you avoid getting the leather ones. Yeah. I, uh, actually, I, feel, I can actually remove my cloth to wash it. Okay. I've dealt with uh, leather, those leather armrests, and yeah, they get uh, pretty salty. <laughs> you Evan? You want to do this guy? The hell's who wants to know? Are you with those Saxons? Far from it. We aim to attack the encampment. Gear told us you would be able to give us shelter until nightfall. Ah, uh, that would be easy. Soul is over patrolling the area all through the night. Why am I so this Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Swede who'd multi-classed into Scottish. 
Blast. <laughs> Blast. I knew this was going to be difficult. They are ways around the guards. You need to sneak past them at night. I know others who might be able to help you. Let's, let's go inside and discuss tactics. I'm su- How am I doing surprisingly fluently? As Evan invited Pierre and Weird into his home, the men began to discuss their plan. And Evan became, began to regret his life's choices. We move at midnight, said Pierre. They'll never know what hit them, said added Weird. Evan was just... <laughs> sorry, Evan was just sorry for his table. Both men were grinning from ear to ear, as if they were already sure what the outcome would be. At midnight, they were ready for the ambush. That table's been in my family for a hundred years. <laughs> Weird, you need to head east. And here, you should head north. Ask the encampment. Make sure you don't get caught. Thanks for all your help. Okay, plus, am I doing proper Scottish by accident? Or, or am I still messing it up? I'm not actually sure. For if it really like it just rolled so well that I got confused what I went. Am I doing this correctly? Guards are patrolling the area. Better be quiet. Never. <laughs> okay, I, I don't want to risk running into the one any of them. Okay, this I I do want to see if I can still take them, but I don't think the game is going to have uh, that much depth in that. Oh dear. Like, I, I can see him able to sneak. For me, people can sneak if they are given uh, practice. And also, it says he's not, he's not really like, wearing, you know, armor that will make... So if he had armor now, like full plate, in this weather, they might hear the rain hitting his armor. They yeah. might hear themselves as well, so... 50 Plus 50. All the rattling of metal against metal. Yeah. Though so if they are alone and they hear that, then we'll probably look around and see is, is that a body or an enemy? But yeah, big things can sneak. And that's kind of when you need to be careful. Yeah, crocodiles and such are still ambush predators for good parts. You got here just in time. I think they have already started the attack from the other side. It's like we're just starting to fight without us. We need to move. Free gray beards. Okay, got a good bunch of them there. Oh, you almost lost them all. Yeah, you all know now. Nope. Yep. Okay, no dodging arrows. Yeah, I think I know what happened. You should go after the archers. They yeah. came up behind them. Okay, still got that one at the end there. Yep. I thought it was charged already. Nope. Yeah, and this <laughs> this is with uh, a health upgrade. Oh, we can't go any further than that. Yep. And he turns out. <laughs> Then it's back against you right after. Oh, come on, show off. Okay, I need to be a bit be more conservative with uh, the specials, like here. We'll have, yeah, that put a good dent into their health. Okay. Oop. There we 
go. Oh, you're not one of our friends. And last one. Only P and one ally. Good job, Weird. Uh, that, yeah, it was close, but we managed to defeat them. I think a little celebration is in order. Let's first get those supplies to Geert. And then we can head to the inn. Uh, and drink uh, it empty. Yep. Look, reinforcements are coming from the camp. Ah, uh, get ready, Weird. This is going to be a tough fight. There we go. Yeah, the combat is a bit rudimentary. With uh, no blocking or dodging or anything. But we can at the very least stun a single target. Uh, what but... the... Hmm? Um, how is this thing up there? Yeah, the which man one? on the fence, on the... Uh... Oh, this <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, uh, did he get impaled? I think he's being, yeah, I think he's being held up by his broken spine. That, that's a bunch more. We should, we should prioritize uh, archers since they can hit us at any time. Yes, yes, we don't have a block. Those devils got what they deserved. Now let's get those supplies back to the blacksmith and carry the dead back as well. Right, let's go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. There's plenty of weapons that we could collect as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure Geert would like to smelt those down for something. Or just hand them out. <laughs> you forget to some coins. There we go. Uh, we'll have to look at getting that other health upgrade as well. Um. You wanna you wanna voice him? Uh, right. <clears throat> there you are. Oh, bloody heck. There you are. Word has already spread about your actions. You really are something else. Glory is not important to me. What matters is that our mission was successful. We were able to get the supplies you need. Great. I will start crafting your sword and armor right away. I will create a weapon that fits for a man your size. I hope it will be worth our trouble. Bloody I, I was able to do a different voice there. <laughs> With endless strokes of his hammer, Geert crafted his, ma crafted his masterpiece. Pierre held the sword and knew that the blade was truly special. The sword was close to seven feet long and weighed 15 pounds. Only a man with incredible strength would be able to wield this mighty blade. <laughs> Come on, Pierre. We can finally celebrate at the inn. And there we have the titular cross. 
and we, it, we can actually it's switch actually between. Cold? Sorry, go on. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I don't see. I'm not sure if it is ever uh, <clears throat> named, but uh, judging by the size of it, I would not be. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this, uh, if they called it the cross, or at least his cross, the bear. Oh dear gods! Mm, yeah, we we can swap with axe, and uh, that has a much bigger reach, as you can see. Yeah. And we have a special for it as well. Nice. And also, okay, did it go a little bit fantasy? I see here now with the armor style. Yeah, just the shoulder protection. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I feel like they should be on the other side where, you know, this side that's facing the enemy should have the armor. Yeah. Oops. Ah, we've made it. Finally, we're at the end. See that guy over there? Doesn't he look a bit strange to you? Inns are full of strange people. I don't see the problem. Let's go talk to him. But first, let's go rob him. Shall I or you? Uh, I'll let you take this one. Your faces show up every day and then vanish again without a trace. But I'm sure I'll remember your ugly mugs, <laughs> your ugly faces for months to come. We want no quarrel with you. You're drunk. Bleak, 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 bleak. Be glad that we've seen enough trouble for one day. I just want to relax and have an ale. Trouble? Everybody's running into trouble these days. Can't seem to do anything anymore without those idiots marching here. Give a guy a suit of armor and he suddenly thinks he can order you around. <laughs> the Saxons are in Aram too. Haven't run into any of them yet. Oh, now I know. You're the two burly men who are going around beating up those knights in shitty armor, right? Say no more. I'm treating you to an ale. <clears throat> See? Not such a bad guy after all. Look, there... Uh, look, there is this one Saxon with extra shiny armor. I've been undermining his authority by interrupt. Hey, you. Uh oh You, come with me. It's time to make an example of what happens when you steal from a general. You are not taking anyone anywhere. I wasn't talking to you. Stay out of this, you oaf. Don't make me repeat myself. Leave now or face the consequences. Fine, have it your way. We will rid this godforsaken village of all three of you idiots. Guards, take these men out. Big mistake. Uh oh. And he bolts. Let's show these propped up fools who we are messing with. And yeah, we get a lot more movement with this one as well now. Yeah, much better reach too. Holy! Yeah, just cleave a guy in two and shove these guys almost through the window. I think that's the last of them. You sure know how to handle a sword. How about we work together from now on? My name is Wybe. I know uh, some others who can join us as well. You seem like a decent fellow, Wybe. Good, we'll work with you. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Now let's have that ale. For a brief moment, Pierre forgot about the trouble he was in. The men celebrated their victory at the inn, drinking one pint after the other. One night, he could just be who he used to be, a peaceful farmer from a small village. As he was, up till freaking yesterday. <laughs> we need to recruit all the men we can find. Any suggestions? I have two friends that you could approach. Just mention that I've sent you and I'm sure you can convince them to join us. No need to uh, right. run around with that out. And the goal is gone, damn it. 
Like, like nobody would pick that up if they ran across it early in the morning. So, uh, did everyone come from the tavern? Let's see. This must be our guy. Looks like he's in trouble. Quickly. General, he just gets cleaved. <laughs> We're not the general, a captain, probably. Thanks for the help, stranger. Not that I needed it. These men would have taken you out if I hadn't been for us. Why were they attacking you in the first place? They found out I was planning to kill the general who's stationed in Aram. How do you think that's the same guy you ran into last night? That man has done nothing but harass villagers and collect taxes. We need to put an end to that. Just let us deal with him. He got away last night, but I would love to put my hands around that scrawny neck of his. No, he's responsible for the suffering of my family and friends. He's mine. And you're in close enough for me to get a clear shot at him. Hmm, not really my style, but I hope you out. Weird, er, weird. Uh, you should probably sit this one out. We don't want to raise any suspicion. Go to Vibe and wait for us there. Okay, already getting into assassination. Oh dear. Do we have enough to buy any upgrades here? Let's see, 40% plus. And those are then upgrades. there's just okay. Hmm? I thought those were healing. Nope. Let's see. 100 for stamina up and then 250 for more stamina up. It's a good thing they built this church on a mound. In case of a flood, all villagers have a safe place to go. Yep. Flooding used to be quite a problem over here, but mostly since the uh, <coughs> the waterworks were built, they haven't been as much, if at all. The general is just down the street. Talk to him or just annoy him a bit to lure him out. I'll wait for you at the bridge. Good luck. Oh dear. I've got to get his attention somehow. I would just <laughs> knock him. Hey, you. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you, you Saxon bastard. Huh? You again? No friends to help you out this time. Just wait again until I get my hands on you. Yep. <laughs> okay, he gave up real easy. Come on. Come on. Stop running, you coward. If you want to face me head on, come on then. Before the general was able to react, the archer drew, aimed and released his arrow. The shot was as straight as could be. It hit the arrow right between the eyes, ending his watch over Aram and something else. Thank you for what you've done. You've put yourself at risk for my cause. It was no selfless act. I really need someone with your skills. Join us against the Saxons. After what you've done for me, I'm in your debt. You can count me in. We're getting more numerous and powerful. We should think about using the encampment on the road to Aram. A friend of mine who lives co close to the encampment. You should pay him a visit and see if he's willing to join the resistance. Slowly building up numbers. And that should be enough to get stamina up. Yep. Are there supposed to be another guy here, or did we uh, weird get uh, him already? I'm not sure how to actually pronounce that. I'm just saying it like it is weird. 
beard, perhaps, but yeah, I am not familiar with the word. It's one of those things you feel like you want to hear pronounced. Yeah. Just to be sure. Now, let's get this upgrade. Now, we should be able to use the attack, uh, our special attack, more often. Should be the, in the keywords. Oh, there, good man. You seem to be in quite a hurry. I am indeed. What do you want? You may have a sword, but do you know how to use it? We can teach you some great moves. If you have the coin, that is. Mm. Also, my friend who is further up the road can offer you potions that will increase your health and stamina. Okay. Well, we've already bought from him. But yeah, just telling you about upgrades and such again, which completely flew off of my head when I originally played this game, I'm pretty sure. You mean you played without upgrades? Yep. I'm pretty sure, at least. Are you telling me you accidentally handicapped yourself massively? Yep. <clears throat> and you beat the game anyway? Yep. I Get off my land. Fair. Oh, sorry. Get off my land. You soldiers keep trespassing. We're no soldiers. We're here to ask you to join us against the Saxons. And who might you be? Uh, here they are again. Help me fight them off, then we can talk. Look at the fucking size of this thing. <laughs> and if we aim it right, we can still take out an absolute mass of them. But it is a great sword. In both sense of the words, with and without the space between. <laughs> Makes me wonder, is it... Oh, should I spoil this? I feel I might be spoiling here, if we need suggestion. Mm, uh, spoiling what, perhaps? Mm. Should we get you a great sword on Minecraft today? Uh, we could see if there is a uh, new mod pack. <clears throat> Oh, there is! There is! <laughs> and it works like this! How fucking many? Wait, how many terrorize him daily? That there. I ported myself a bit too much there. You have to start all over now? Okay, get rid of a bunch of them. Get rid of the archers. Oh yeah, we are definitely doing a lot more damage with the blade now. The attacks do come out a bit slower, but they hit much, much more area. For the evening stream today, we're thinking about doing Minecraft, but not continuing with the <clears throat> with the Ultima 7 worlds uh, just yet. We will still probably continue with that, but we want to try and show off uh, the, uh, the likely new mod pack that we would move to once we are uh, done slash tired of uh, <clears throat> Ultima 7. This One of the ways with it is that it is a bit unstable, though, and has yeah, it sometimes needs to be brute forced to start up. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're not be surprised uh, after today's uh, Minecraft that we do directly to it. Yeah, we've learned a good deal in the uh, <clears throat> in the second world we've made. 
Yeah, so, so it, th those two early ones are not, they have not been useless. And they might not be continued, but they sure has given us something both of us have learned. Even when I've not been the one being playing it, I've actually been trying to be observant and learn as well. It says I am the extra head to uh, captain over here. The brown hats we can just swipe through. Get the bloody archer. Yeah, the, the normal soldiers we can just take out with a swing or two, and we're <laughs> we're drowning a bunch of them. Is that all? That is all. Thank you. I just. I would have surely been killed if they fought me all by if, if I had fought them all by myself. We're already you know, <clears throat> we're always glad to come to the aid of those who oppose the Saxons. This is the reason we came to, uh, to see you, by the way. Now come. Who will come? Wybe, your friend in Aram, told us to go find you. We are looking for men to join the resistance. Okay, so he is the second one. You have saved my life. I can only repay you by joining you. The encampment is ours to take. I suggest we gather more men to match our numbers. Agreed. You go find the others in Aram and prepare the encampment. Where then I will return to you later. And now we are finally heading home. Where are we going, Pierre? Home. It's been too long already. I need to make sure my family is safe. Oh, really? And what were you to say there? Do you sound like you pondered or something? Yeah, I, I'm. I made a bit of a reference there, one that is likely very obscure and that most people probably wouldn't get it. But uh, with that, <clears throat> with what I said there, with how come, who will come, that the. Uh, that was me referencing an, an old game called Stone Keep, which oh, maybe to stream someday. It is a very long game, and I will definitely need that old yeah, guy to help us get through it. I know of the game. I see the cover art. I had no people who owned it. All right. I never played it. I, I was close one time, but I was really young. So the, the guy who was the father of my friend asked to me, are you sure you want to play this? It's quite dark and all. And I asked for, maybe not. Yeah. So he gave, he, he, I was a bit too young for that game back then. Uh, yeah, uh, my family does own the game and even uh, one of those written uh, game guides for it as well. Yeah, wait, oh, I was feel, wait, I know of Stonekeep and Candlekeep. Oh, was it Candlekeep as well? Uh, I know that Candlekeep is a location in the Baldur's Gate D&D universe. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Then it must have been Stonekeep, then, I was thinking of, after all. Yeah, Stonekeep. Um, maybe we'll do Neverwinter stuff sometime, but I am a bit hesitant to start on RPGs, since those do tend to go on for uh, very long times. Yeah, the, the, the DLCs and expansion packs are usually shorter, but the main games Holy heck! Yeah, 60 to 80 hours or something. Yeah, you, you can do it faster, but if you try to only do the main quest, you then come into the problem of you handicapping yourself extremely. Yeah. Anyways, that wife of yours really needs to be something else if she can keep someone like you in line. What was that? Hmm, nothing. I should learn to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Probably before it gets shot for you. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see if, he's, if she's going to ask about our new souvenir. Oh, I'm certainly worried uh, what you might say. Ah, I finally get to see where you live. Don't think too much of it. It's just a farm. And farms are important. Who 
You're back in one piece. Who knows see if you've brought a stranger? Prince, meet Weird. He is my kin. Yeah, I ran into him when I left here. He's been at my side ever since. Here, your charming wife really is something else. Don't get any ideas. Oh, stop it, Pierre. Nice to meet you, Weird. Oh, what are you doing here? Ah, there you are. Things are looking up. The Saxons haven't really shown themselves for a while now. It's great to hear. I've been like. I've been neglecting my duties on the farm way too much. I really need to get some work done while I'm here. And he just stands there drinking all your beer. Okay, put the sword down, the soldier away, and the farmer gets attacked anyway. You peasant! We're looking for the man who is called Brute Appear. Now tell us where he lives and we might I just let you live. Brute Appear? Who might that be? Vigilante, murderer and a thief. He has killed dozens of Saxons and needs to be put to justice. Well, I know of a guy called Beardonia. See that farm over there? That's where he lives. Good, now get out of our... And he is standing right before you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, we're going to plow their asses <laughs> with the plow. As Pierre worked the fields, he was approached by a group of five soldiers. Enraged that the men had come so close to his farm, Pierre grabbed two soldiers and smashed their heads so hard their helmets buckled. Pierre made short work of the other soldiers. Peter and Weird heard the noise and came from the field to rush and rushed to his aid. Plow this, Wait. motherfuckers. They knew where to find me. We were right here? We heard... Oh, what are these soldiers doing here? I'm not harmed. Just as long as they didn't... Rinche, if they laid one hands on her. Oh, that's her full name. Uh, it's... You're, is, being added to something is like being... Uh, like adding little before some uh, and something. Oh, it's... It, Oh, that explains. Oh, I'm gonna put you this. You know, you know which name they are I'm trying to say? Gretia. Yep. <laughs> it, it, that word basically translates to little Greta. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Rince, are you okay? Of course. I knew I had to handle myself. This blasted Saxons have gone too far. We have got yeah, to rid of all. We have got now to get rid of all of them. And, oh yeah, she is. <laughs> she uh, put one in the ground herself. You're right, Pierre. But we need to rest now. No need, no need rushing into anything when you're not fit, hiding fit. Hmm. I guess you're right. We move first thing in the morning. She, she came on? Yeah, there was one laying on the ground. Hmm. Discuss the plan of attack with Weird. I'm so happy you weren't, you weren't hurt. Please be careful, Pierre. Social interaction tends to scare me a bit. They don't let us out a great deal, you know. The heck? You're a priest! You really have you something special going here, Pierre. Perhaps I should think about settling down too. He was supposed to come running in, but he got stuck. Pierre, we got ambushed in Kim uh, word. They're about to hang John, uh, Jan and Se uh, Seabrand. Hurry. Wilk, what are you talking about? John and Seabrand are in trouble? He's, that's just what he said. Are you... We need to help them. Now. And with that, we run off again. And again on the time limit. Oh, no. And we are... Soon to end the stream as well. <laughs> Holy! Uh, oh, I feel as if some Dutch come back to me. Grutte, uh, I don't know how to say that. It's like a Swede. Uh, Grutte means giant. 
Uh, it is a. I think it is all the Dutch for the word groot. And yes, that would be groot if you said it in English, which translates to big. Okay, I was I was somewhat right then. <laughs> hmm. Soldiers are getting the road ahead. You better be careful. But yeah, <laughs> in Dutch, I am Groot is basically saying I am big. Yeah, from, from us, it's like Groot sounds extremely similar to Groot. And Groot is oatmeal. <laughs> so yeah, I, I suspect some Swedes have been having fun to Swedish fight it into a meme that all the Swedes understand. Okay, that one is really bloody blind. Yeah. Really? You could just you could just bisect that guy from top to bottom. Well, now we know what happens if they discover you. Yeah. Uh, one. Miss. Okay. You. You own them last time. Now they owning you. Okay. It seems that the entire bar still gets used. It probably just deals more damage this time. Yeah, I actually swapped out to the fists and have to swap back. Uh oh. Yeah, be careful now. Okay, just feed you guys to the fish. But yeah, it's, it's easy to fill apart the rank of each of these by their armor and their helmets. You? These guys, the captains, are the toughest at the moment. <clears throat> He's so loud over there. Now, I, I'm, I'm getting the, I'm getting the feeling that the bit with the plow was probably taken directly from the legend. That he probably just beat a bunch of them up with the freaking plow. I, I didn't realize that it was a plow. I was for the first because it was a broken fence. <laughs> he probably would have used that as well if he had a, no other choice. Oh, good God. That bird image. He would kill someone with shrubbery. Probably what you do you do with him then? then? Wait, what? <laughs> You could say uh, that he bushwhacked them then? He kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's sure. kinda what I imagine what he would do if he met the knights who say knee. <laughs> oh dear gods. Yep. Okay, we got around them before. Uh, wait, is that going to put us back all the... Okay, yeah. Just like Not... last time. Okay, it is somewhat understandable since we are on a time limit. So checkpoints during those is not always a good idea, if ever. Oh yeah, check is time limit and sneak. Yeah, no, that should not. Uh. It makes sense in movies, but in games... Yeah, it, they're it, more annoying most of the time. Yeah, you don't know, so easily it's not worth. But you just go... Uh, you just go, why you bother? But otherwise... Yeah, it's either so easy, you ask yourself, why you bother? Sometimes, is this more problem or common? So annoying you ask, why? Who is sane enough to do this? Yeah. Okay. Now 
let's try to avoid that guard entirely this time. There's been some that you're supposed to have uh, uh, recommended to sneak, but you just realize it's, it's just easier to bulldoze through the enemy. Just because the stealth system is so bad. Okay, you're going to turn around. Got, a, got us last time. Pretty good music, I have to say. I'm keeping up the tension somewhat. I need to go through those crates and barrels. Oh, and now we can fight again. Yes! Leave! They've just been stacking up their junk over this way. Everything just slows you down, apparently. Yep, and he gets a burial at sea. Oh dear. More soldiers. I need to be careful not to get caught. Okay. Uh, we need to go that way. I'm going to guess we're going to need to hang the long way. Actually, no, there's... Let's not get caught because then we'll have to do everything over again, I'm guessing. Maybe... Oh, it'd be so much easier if you just could sneak behind and smash them. Yeah. Honestly, that we... No, not worth doing now. We should have... T it's something we should try it earlier. Especially now knowing uh, how unfair the checkpoint is. There we go. We can hear the crowd in the distance. John and Siebert and... Will be dead if I continue this way. I need to rush to Kim's words. Okay. Wait. Okay, no hiding this time. Yeah, they're already alert, anyways. Okay, still try to avoid as many as can. Yeah. The, the flat hat guys just go down in one hit. Holy. There we go. Just a bit more than a minute. They're still alive. I need to find a way to get to them. Can't get through this way. Should check if I can get through on the other side. Okay. Not here either. Oh. Okay, at least the timer has stopped. Find a way around the crowd. Oh, thank goodness. I was to say otherwise. I have to go through this with the timer? Bunch of soldiers in the outskirts. And one who's just charging straight at us. Is so it for that. I think that there is a search or two who claims to have his sword. Okay. You're not expecting anyone. This is my chance. Yeah. 
I <clears throat> I'm guessing what actually happened with that stamina upgrade that we got is that it, it made the bar bigger and thus led more... <clears throat> it takes longer to charge, but it also deals more damage. Here we had the Kim's word just in time. With powerful blows, he fought off dozens of soldiers. Save John and Sivrin from servants and death. Here, you saved us. A few minutes later and we would have been dead. Sivrin, gather all the men who can fight and meet me at the encampment on the road to Aram. We need to put a stop to all of this. Ready. Oh, it seems that I turned on the wrong timer. I turned on the four hour timer. <laughs> okay, this is a good point to end it off anyways. Here, we need to head back to the farm. Yes, good idea. No use standing around here anymore. Okay. I'm presuming that is a checkpoint there since it loaded. I hope so. Okay. Uh, yeah, not an amazing game, but it is nice for what it is. And it's certainly not bad either. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a good game. Yes, yeah, simple but fun. And yeah. yeah, same for the art style, really. It is. A bit crude, but it is it is charming and functional. Yeah. It makes me imagine how uh, if they had more time and budget, what else, uh, how much more polish they could have given this. True. I don't know if they ever released any other games besides this. Actually, we can go look that up real quick on Steam here. Uh, let's see, library. And... Yeah. I see Strayer Studios, yes. but I don't see any publisher. Let's see, there is that Triangle Studios at the top and bottom. They are the, okay, they are developer and publisher, so self-published. Right. And let's see. They released one other game, it seems. It uh, actually two. It came from Space and Ate Our Brains in 2015 and Reign of Bullets also in 2015 and okay six years later they finally released the soundtrack for It Came From Space and Ate Our Brains hmm okay I believe I heard someone mention that game I can't say I've heard of it before it doesn't sound like they're defunct or anything, but if they have been, they've been working on something for almost 10 years now. Yeah. It okay. makes you curious. Now, I might look into a bit more on them, but for now, let's head on over here. And we are going to look for someone to raid. Raid, uh, pillage, burn! Oh, that was supposed to open up here. Why right, does it keep moving? Okay. You're going to make me uh, blind one day. <laughs> hey, we are going to be the Saxons ourselves this time, and we are going to raid someone. But first, change the screen share so Rakia can see the browser. Make sure it's on Twitch and that it is muted. It is. Now, let's see. We have Shema, who is streaming The Sims Medieval. Uh, would be fitting to rate them somewhat since we are going from medieval times to medieval times. And we have <laughs> Live Grow with Against the Storm. Weird Romance is streaming Tunic. Sour Rollers with Last Epoch. I uh, think I've heard of that maybe. Okay, yeah, it's a Diablo like. Then we have Karen A streaming Limbus Company. And they just started from the timer, it seems. Kiri Natsuyoko has been streaming Project Zomboid again for quite a bit. And I can't say if that's a new model or not. I and think yeah, it's I should a new probably model. Get into, 
I should probably get into the habit of actually taking a peek at the people we are potentially streaming, you know, going to raid, so we can get a bit more of an understanding of what they are actually doing. Yeah. Okay, then we have Ruffy Raccoon with Final Fantasy X. Oh, th th this Final Fantasy with Mr. Forced Laugh. <laughs> uh, I actually found... There was actually a Did You Know Gaming video recently, I think, where there was a bit of info on one of Titus's appearances, and in the game data he was actually called Mr. Forced Laugh or something. Be because of that infamous forced laughter scene. Okay, I never heard of that one. Hmm. And yeah, we they're they're too big for us to raid, I'd say. But worst pre-made ever is currently streaming Sons of the Forest, so that's going to be quite something. Oh, good gods! Uh, though I have found out that apparently they don't store their VODs on Twitch for some reason. Though with the amount of cursing and such that they get up to as sometimes when Alice gets annoyed or <laughs> something, uh, that might be more understandable. Oh, their, their VODs are on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Any of them sound interesting or shall we go look at the recommendeds? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I see the recommended here. Maybe Alex Jordan W O. Uh, Alex Jordan V O, who is streaming? No, oh, of course, Total Warhammer Three. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe, yeah. Do he say try Tomb King? So it might be him. It might be that one. Okay. Uh, copy the name. Then we head to our own place. And slash raid, paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always for here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, likely an evening stream today. We'll do a bit of a showcase of that medieval mod pack that I've talked about before. Uh, me medieval mods for Minecraft uh, with extra stuff added. The, it's the same mod pack that uh, me and some others have been playing on a server recently, though a bit less lately. It, but uh, yeah, it is pretty fun from uh, all I have seen of it. It's more compact than all the mod 7, but still with plenty of choice. Uh, just hopefully, just. And enough choices, not to be like almost everything else, almost too much. Yeah, and not too big to take like half an hour to load. Not that all the mod seven takes that long to load, but still, less mods, also less chance of stuff going wrong. Yeah. Okay, but for now, let's start that raid, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that stream if we can do it or not. And my sleep schedule is still recovering from uh, the last few night shifts. And uh, yeah, just being lazy as well, I'll fully admit. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I might do a bit of pre-work to see to find a bit of a spot and have some basic stuff set up first. In yeah, between now and then, which would be about two and a half hours ish. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for Saxons.